Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Bitcoin reached an all-time high, the Bitcoin dominance keeps on shooting higher. In this video, we are going to go through the price targets for ICP, the structure as well, the macro, the ecosystem of ICP, all the relevant news and much, much more. Is it go time or maybe not? Let's check all the data and stay tuned and let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, I don't have much voice today, so I will try to be as quick as possible. Still one of the top five communities here on Open Chat, so join the revolution on chain, on ICP and on OC. Link is down in the description below. Let's check straight away the ecosystem green across the board. I did mention a couple of days ago, we are going to have two huge catalysts, the presidential election in the United States and the FOMC meeting. Many people told me, I don't believe this will impact the price while well, Bitcoin already at an all-time high. I did tell you volatility alerts a couple of days ago. I expect still a lot of volatility due to the FOMC meeting uh, very soon. So we can see here green across the board. Uh, in my opinion, it was mostly expected because uh, probably a pro crypto candidate is going to win uh, this year. I'm not going to get too much into politics. Uh, the point of my post on X uh, yesterday was just one candidate did show up at Bitcoin Nashville and did at least put some effort, the other didn't. And this is uh, the whole point of my post. I'm not exposed to politics. I'm not a US person and so on and so forth. But I'm pro crypto. I'm a fan of technology. I'm a, I'm a fan of ICP and I'm a fan overall of the crypto market. Now, let's uh, let me quickly show you the bubbles green across the board here. Let's move on very quickly. Fear and greed index. Uh, greed. However, this is the indicator solely for Bitcoin. This is not checking the whole market. This is the indicator for the um, total tree for the altcoin market. We have spent basically months and months or in fear or at the best at neutral here in this indicator, but mostly you may see uh, fear across the board for the total tree because the total tree is constantly bleeding against Bitcoin. Uh, the Bitcoin dominance is shooting higher. It's still Bitcoin season. This is still a transitional phase of the market, which I can show you here. Bitcoin dominance at 60.83%, unstoppable, pushing to the upside. Looks very much like the last push of the last cycle. Let me zoom out here a little bit. This last massive push, massive move for the Bitcoin dominance in the last cycle. However, um, this cycle, I don't expect such exponential moves uh, simply because the total tree is more mature. We have more projects in the uh, crypto sphere and because of many, many other reasons. Uh, very quickly, ICP still holding against Bitcoin. Very important. Still holding even though the Bitcoin dominance is pushing higher, even though most altcoins are bleeding against Bitcoin. You will once again cherry pick these three, four, five altcoins that are outperforming Bitcoin. I'm focusing on the 98% of the market. It's wrong to cherry pick altcoins. We have to look at the macro, at uh, the larger picture. So ICP still holding very good to see how long it will hold. If the Bitcoin dominance keeps increasing at this pace, I don't believe um, that ICP will be able to hold, but maybe I will be proven wrong here. And I wish I'm proven wrong uh, because I believe ICP is still an amazing project. Uh, let's move on to the total tree here. Nothing really changed. One more time, we are trying to move higher for the total tree. Uh, it's not even funny anymore. It could be the time that we break out finally, yes, but I want to see an exponential move and I still believe this move uh, could happen only when the Bitcoin dominance will start heavily dropping to the downside, then we can fulfill the same structure that we experienced for Bitcoin in the last cycle. And I believe uh, this structure has followed the path of Bitcoin very closely this time around. So um, a little update about um, liquidation uh, levels uh, on a coin glass. So yesterday I did show on X that we have here around um, around six 
6.7 dollars a wall 6.8 dollars I will move it a little bit so I can see where it is here 6.75 dollars around seven billion dollars in liquidation leverage which is something that i've been highlighting 6.8 dollars how many times guys for months for months and months i'm repeating that this level is crucial important why not because of some trend line this is something that retail investors are tracking because of fibonacci retracements and extension levels which are crucial in technical analysis. I'm not a technical analyst, guys. I'm a fundamental analyst, so I'm mostly focusing on fundamentals here. However, I cannot disregard technical analysis, and we are going to check the chart in a second. Where is the selling pressure? Still here at around $8.53, $8.7 billion in uh, leverage, in shorts here. So once again, we are going to take a look at uh, the structure of the chart very soon to see that we are still stuck between two Fibonacci retracement levels. Nothing has changed. I'm not getting excited as I wasn't getting panicked on the way down. I still am tracking the macro. So uh, FOMC meeting one day and 30 hours to go also huge catalyst uh, I want to see continuation of the policy of the new policy of the Fed to cut rates and this is something that is going to take us to lose monetary policy in my personal opinion next year with the potential peak of the old queen season I will not stop repeating this Q4 of 2025 or Q1 of 2026 the peak Okay, the start potential of the old queen season Q1 eventually of 2025 uh, with most likely March rather than January as the start simply because in this cycle we need to cut more rates compared to the last cycle when we had two emergency rate cuts. Therefore, the effects on the economy uh, were seen much earlier uh, as a result and also this uh, was of course a huge catalyst for speculators to start speculating straight away as margin rates dropped heavily very quickly now uh, retail investors at an all-time high but here I'm tracking guys not retail investors as as persons but addresses so this is something I mentioned yesterday in a comment I could have 10 addresses all would be meaningful wallets if they have more than 10 ICP. So this is can be misleading, okay? We have to focus on addresses and the fact that one person might have multiple addresses as well. So this is not directly an indication of how many holders do we have, but this is a fair indication of the growth in interest of ICP. So uh, all-time high. Uh, more than 10 uh, addresses, uh, more than 10 ICP in an address, um, 100 IC, more than 100 ICP all-time high as well, more than 1,000 ICP once again, all-time high again. So retail investors are accumulating ICP, which is a matter of fact, while whales still indecisive there is a slight drop here okay however not the humongous drop the trend is still overall up since uh, july we had drops along the way as you may see 15th of september a huge drop however this is more some kind of slow bleed here i still believe whales are indecisive and they will focus uh, on the macro and this is why the total tree is so important i'm still tracking it as well now very quickly supply on exchanges of icp uh, finally dropping after a long time which is an indication as ic terminal mentions here a possible indication of some renewed buying interest at recent low price levels for icp I'm going to provide, hopefully, if I have time today, a comparison and also um, I will focus as well on something else on my blog. I will probably post a daily update today on the blog. So uh, it means the world to me if you can uh, show some support for this initiative because I'm investing a ton of time, guys. I have put a whole team together uh, to be able to deliver this to the whole ICP community for free for the benefit of the community solely 
as always, I'm not begging here for likes or for some money. I just want to educate people and show real data to the world because I think we need more analytical tools. I think we need to focus on data because this project is great and if we show to the world the data i believe slowly but surely more people will start understanding what is it all about so now um dashboard uh, cycle burn rate still above the 90 day average which is great to see the 90 day average did reach 250 billion cycles burns per burn per second fantastic when this started just a couple of months ago, I remember the cycle burn rate at the 90 day average being at 17 billion cycles burn per second just a couple of months ago. OK, so all this other data are still very positive. We have added uh, we have added recently here seven around 7K canister smart contracts in one day once again very very good to see overall uh, the burn continues as well so very very good to see overall here now very quickly milestone alert the side id 20,000 verified unique users very good to see for the side ai and i believe we can reach 100,000 verified unique users uh, next year so the road to 100,000 still continues before ending this video i'm slowly losing uh, the voice as you hear i'm a little bit sick today i will just provide an update regarding the price once again guys how many times this was relevant and even before we reached this for the first time i was screaming here fibonacci retracement levels this retracement level and this retracement level are crucial for icp if we hold 6.8 dollars the bullish scenario is still intact how many times did i mention this and people told me three dollars five dollars okay possible however i'm still tracking this level if here the bulls show up and it's clear by this uh, liquidation chart by coin glass that they show up they put a lot of leverage there because they believe it's a buying zone for icp we are back in the triangle as a result of that we are back in this boring triangle back in the game and uh, this triangle obviously now uh, with this drop has been invalidated however i will still track this it's still uh, funky that we have spent uh, so much time since july in this since the beginning of july in this triangle and this is your boredom this is your apathy this is where most retail investors are getting shaken out because of boredom not because of fear not because of panic and so on and so forth so i will still repeat very important principle emotions have zero space in financial markets in my community and open chat i see so many emotions it's a wild ride for me zero simply because i have been here for many cycles and the first thing i did today i did not check the results of the presidential election i did not check the price of icp i did check results of my favorite team in the champions league and i was reading articles for 15 minutes regarding that so this was my uh, main goal in the morning to check football not um, not financial markets because I trained myself very hardly. I trained myself to not care. And this is the right approach. If you follow risk management, if you have a cash position, if you are um, spread toward, uh, the, if you are diversified in stocks, in commodities, in crypto, if you are um, diversified within an asset class in multiple projects properly, then you will feel zero stress and zero pressure if you invest what you can afford to lose you will have zero pressure and this is the point of investing remove these emotions so you can focus solely on data and you can make rational decisions this is the whole point of my channel and this is what i have been trying for months to teach you guys here so still the bulls are back in the game the bulls were constantly in the game here one more layer of uh, support for icp i'm not claiming this is go time i'm simply claiming that we are still in the same scenario i'm still tracking the same levels with the upside 9.8 dollars and 12 dollars 
Okie dokie, guys. Thank you very much for your attention. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Please support me with this initiative of the blog. It's really important for me because I have invested a ton of time into that. Uh, also, check my e-store if you want to support the channel. Link is down in the description below. Follow me on X and on OpenChat for the latest data charts, metrics, and indicators. I wish you a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.